Hogwarts Legacy came out recently. Looks pretty cool, but it's damn expensive. Ah, who can even afford this? But I still want to play it, so I decided to program it myself. In 48 hours, in VR. I started with a simple VR scene, but it looked super boring, so I decided to make it at least a little bit more interesting. With two cubes. Game design. So now that we have this masterpiece of a map, the question is, what do we need for a Harry Potter game? I would create a wand model myself, but that's outside my skill set. I just always end up with pencils. This looks nice. Thanks, James Ellison, for our magic wand. One could almost think that I need to compensate something. <laughs> So far, the wand is just a funky laser pointer. It lags. Stupor! Yes! Nice! This has already become epic. Maybe a bit exaggerated, but epic. I also made the scene darker and the effects look even more intense. Then I put a lot of different spells into the game and I think it should be fine now. Especially the laser is super nice. But now that we have fancy spells we need... I found these monster wizards in the Unity Asset Store and put them into the game. Take this! Perfect. To make it more interesting, I turned the enemies into ragdolls when they get hit. So shooting the enemies looks way more impressive now. As a second spell, I wanted to program the most brutal of all Harry Potter spells. N no, not this laser. Wingardium Leviosa. Seriously, take a look at it. Avada Kedavra just sucks in comparison. Imagine you are flung through the air like this, <laughs> you can't do anything. However, the opponents should be able to defend themselves. And that's why I gave them a spell and now they can shoot red plasma balls at you. The fighting is done, but the map still looks terrible. Time for... And here I first had a huge graphic bug. It took hours to fix it, but in the end I had a really beautiful, magical landscape from the asset store. It's super awesome in my opinion and it fits really well. Only Hogwarts is still missing. This is the best Hogwarts model I found for free on the internet. Well, let's put it into the game. From a distance it looks quite reasonable. But when we get closer to it, yeah, it just gets worse and worse. Honestly, you can't expect more than 48 hours. But the most important thing is still missing. Now we have a Nimbus 2000. But this doesn't exist in Hogwarts Legacy. The game plays in the 19th century. But the room is from the 20th and century. And that doesn't make sense. You saw. Uh, maybe my game is about the time traveling wizard. Ever thought of that? But it doesn't matter. Flying on a broom is just so fun in VR. Even though Hogwarts looks super crappy. And with that, my 48 hours are already up. So in my VR Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy game, I can now fight evil wizards. Sorry, sir. S sir. Are you okay? Catapult them around with spells. And of course, fly around with a broom. <laughs> JK Rowling, now I don't have to support you anymore. <laughs> but you can support me by liking this video, subscribing to my channel and... Uh,